we're going to compare two ways to calculate orientation angle from this inertial measurement unit. The IMU is an MPU 6050 embedded in a GY521 breakout board and it contains a three-axis accelerometer and a three-axis gyroscope and we're going to compare the data as computed from a complementary filter algorithm uh, to the data as it can be obtained from the digital motion processor contained in the MPU 6050 IMU chip. So what we've done is we've connected the breakout board to an Arduino Uno with five wires for power and ground, two for the I2C bus, and one wire for an interrupt, which lets the UNO know when there is data from the digital motion processor to be retrieved. So what we have is an Arduino sketch which reads data from the accelerometer and the gyroscope on the MPU 6050 as well as on, from the digital motion processor. It combines the accelerometer and gyroscope data with a complementary filter and then sends that filtered data along with the DMP data across the serial port where we can retrieve it with this processing sketch that will graphically display the orientation angles for the yaw, which is rotation in the z-axis, and then pitch and roll, which show uh, rotation about the x and y axes. Now, yaw data cannot be accurately computed with a complementary filter. Um, but the DMP does a pretty good job of demonstrating rota rotation about the z-axis. And if you look at the pitch and roll orientation angles, you can see that the complementary filter shown in red and the DMP shown in blue are pretty close, but the complementary filter data has a slight time lag behind the data read from the DMP. And that time lag is pretty consistent. So that is a comparison of data from the digital motion processor and from a complementary filter read from an MPU 6050 IMU.